Hi, Twin Flames. We're going to try to do a short uh, tarot reading, tar tarot oracle or oracle tarot for the Twin Flames, okay? Um, so we're going to use the Psychic Direct Answers deck, okay, oracle. And we're going to see what the Mother, Father, Source, the Great Spirit, your ancestors of light, um, Archangel Michael and all his archangels of this universe have to say about... Um, about, uh, about a masculine doing something on a particular date that was, uh, that was, uh, illegal, okay? That was not ethical, that was dark, that was violent, and that eventually God will make sure they pay legally in a 3d4 okay so i'm going to pick it randomly this is how i pick it okay okay reverse oh reverse aggressive be careful so 161 it would be number eight um let's see okay so that's reverse so the mother father and all your ancestors of light counting the benevolent sacred holy dragons of the mother and father that are higher than the archangels and higher than the regular angels um, and higher than the ascended masters that serve the mother father. They say, um, hmm, they say feminines be assertive and be not careful not to go ahead and explain to the local authorities, judges, lawyers, your lawyer, wh whomever, write a book about it, make videos and movies about it. Um, but go ahead and uh, divine feminine energy and tell the truth. Tell the truth. Because reverse of aggressive would be assertive or passive. And they definitely don't want your ancestors of light. Um, definitely do not want you to be uh, passive. Okay. And they don't want you to be careful not to tell every dark detail that happened. Okay. All right. And what else? I'm going to try to keep this reading short. Okay, what else? Let's, um, about that dark day that happened to the feminine or whoever that was illegal. What does the mother, father, Archangel Michael, and all the archangels and the benevolent dragons of the mother, father say? Guilty as charged. Absolutely. Okay. Guilty, oh, guilty as charged. I agree. I agree. Okay. So, all right, let's pick another card right here. In the third card standing, this will be like the main subjects that the Mother, Father, um, Source, Benevolent Dragons of theirs, and the Archangels, especially Archangel Michael, um, and your Ancestors of Light have to say about that faith, uh, fateful day that happened to the Twin Flame Feminine. Okay, wow. Okay, number 214, which uh, if you add those numbers is the number 7, a holy number. Uh, fears evil past okay and also um i channeled uh that uh cannot win when you're doing evil to your twin so no divine masculine energy can win when you're doing evil to to your own twin flame soulmate your other half of your soul because if you do evil to them you're doing evil to yourself and that's why karma happens and the universe says okay since you're going to do that, then there's karma that you're going to have to pay. Okay, so let's say, all right, let's pick a card to see what they say about this card. Oh, wow. Um, okay, so the Divine Masculine did something wrong, did something dark and illegal. And this is what the Mother, Father, and your Ancestors of Light, Ancestors of Light covers um, Archangel Michael and all the archangels of your universe and all your best friends on the other side that protects you and all your benevolent dragons if you have them in your ancestors of light um, and anyone that protects you and guides you in every life chart that you're in like you're in now okay so this says 253 which goes to makes a 10 or a 1 so that's an ending and a beginning okay 10 is the ending and then uh, 0 or 1 would be the beginning okay so, and that five, five would split change, change, which make a 10. Okay. Sadist favorite person. So some dark karmic energy, uh, was a sadist and this was their favorite person to use to do their will 
illegal, law unlawful things to the twin flame feminine and her family. So that is proof right there. Okay, cool. All right, what else do you have to say about guilty as charge card? Or I'm just going to say ancestors of light, okay? That means mother, father, source, the spirit, and all archangels, archangel Michael, and benevolent dragons, and all your best friends on the other side that act as spiritual guides and trainers, spiritual trainers before your incarnations, and are your best friends and family. Okay, so ancestors of light, number 246. That would be a 12, and that would be reduced to 3, and that's the trinity okay mother father source the holy spirit the great spirit so about guilty as charged card it says spirit pit bull traumas okay well when there's spirit pit bull traumas that means to the person's 3d body matrix avatar body meat container vehicle that they're wearing it's talking about how the masculine um has traumas and the masculine is like a pit bull that was traumatized. And so naturally the pit bull is going to try to bite anyone that loves them or hates them. They're going to, um, the pit bull is so traumatized in their own spirit, in their pit bull human body, that um, when you get with your divine masculine, they're going to rip you up and hurt you because uh, sadists um, that they were with, married to or in love with, um, has taught them to be um, not assertive and to say no to the sadist that I won't hurt my own twin flame because I don't want to get in trouble with the law. Um, so let's get a card on fear's evil past. It is reverse. Okay, reverse of 160. So it's seven. Violent, watch out. So fear's evil past reverse. Okay. Um, opposite of violent would be nonviolent, and watch out would be watch in. So, huh, fears evil past. So you fear evil past. Um, I think the divine feminine fears the evil past that her uh, divine masculine energy has done to her, um, has scared her with. Okay, let's pick another card on guilty as charged. Okay, we got reverse 162, which reduces to nine. The Divine Feminine Mother number, uh, reverse, calm down, reverse, then talk. So obviously, um, don't calm down and then don't talk. Okay. Um, well, the pit bull, when it's enraged because it has been so abused by other pit bull bad trainers, and now it's with a good trainer, they won't calm down. So that would be the reverse of this. So they won't, the pit bull that's been abused and now takes it out on the feminine, um, they won't calm down and they won't just talk it out. They'll bite you with their teeth or rip you apart. Um, so your own divine masculine is a traumatized pit bull and they're traumatizing their spirit. And so they're going to rip the divine feminine apart if they start a relationship, friendship, an engagement ship and a marriage and even rip apart the children and grandchildren by gaslighting and um, just lying and uh, using the Darvo technique of, you know, oh, I'm the victim. So the traumatized masculine that's abusive and toxic, toxic is going to lie to the police, judges, lawyers, his lawyers, everyone in the world, his family and friends, everyone, everywhere he goes to make himself look like the pit bull victim. Yeah, he was a pit bull victim of the sadist, of, of the sadist that he was in love with and it was a best friend with and married to and dated and befriended and trusted. Um, yeah. So, okay. What else about the sadist's favorite person and this card? Flippant. 265. Add that 8. That'd be 13. That'd be the death card. That means death and stopping something bad, most likely. Or it has to do with police. Um, if there's black and white on the card, it has to do with fleet. police. Uh, flippant, bipolar, manic. So the sadist is flippant and bipolar and manic to your twin flame masculine. Every day they're together for 13 years, 16 years, 20 years, 30 years, okay? So they're going to train your masculine to be the same, flippant, bipolar, manic. And then, which will be like a crazy pit bull that has no discernment to know who's my real friend and who's my real lover, who's my real um, anything that loves me. And naturally, the mixed up, 
traumatized pit bull is going to think that the sadist karmic person is their best friend are that they are truly in love with them and they love them and um, is not even going to suspect that the sadist is um, abusing them and possibly going to take their life or their own twin flame feminine's life or their own twin flame feminine's children's and grandchildren's lives. Um, so let's get a card on this one, on 214, and then Violent, watch out. Okay. So we got an upright, 9-2, which goes to 11, which is the enlightenment and twin flame number. Um an awareness number I'm getting and which reduces to two and one 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 symbolizing twin flame feminine one symbolizing twin flame masculine and those two are a couple so they're supposed to be a perfect balanced couple of love um, and it's saying fears evil past reverse of nonviolent non watching out um, uh, doesn't understand psychology so of course your own masculine, um, they're guilty as charged. Uh, it's because they don't understand psychology. They don't study it. They don't believe in it. Um, they don't see how psychology studying it and believing it would help them because they're in fear because they did something bad to you. Uh, deep, uh, twin flame feminine. Okay, so let's get another card on the middle. Um, hold on, another card on the middle. Okay, some random card. I'll just take the bottom. Okay. Okay, black sex magic 196. So if you add these numbers, 10, 16, and then uh, 7. 7 is a holy number of the Mother Father Source, the Great Spirit, the Holy Spirit. Okay, black sex magic. Okay, so what black sex magic, the sadist use black sex magic on your traumatized pit bull twin flame masculine, um, either now or when they were married, or when they dated, or were friends, okay? So now your pit bull masculine, toxic pit bull masculine, is trained by black sex magic. So now he he is so, or she is so sexualized um, that they can't think straight, and they can even go criminally insane. Um, and, you know, black, black sex magic, a, a sadist, karmic, um, twin flame, will teach them that psychology is not real. Um, this sadist may even be a, a psychology uh, RN nurse or something or in the medical field. Um, um, sadists just look like normal people. Um, they just act like normal people except for to the spouse and their own family or children that are in the inner circle. So sadists constantly torture you emotionally, mentally, sexually, socially verbally, physically, financially, and spiritually, and in all possible ways, okay, medically. Um, they, they have no remorse. They have no real love. They can't feel remorse or guilt, and they enjoy torturing you and your family, um, whether it's taking your life or just cyber stalking or stalking physically or financially or whatever, okay? So they love causing chaos and bad things to you and your family. Okay, I'm going to go this way for this card so you guys can see better. Okay, so for this right here, this card, Guilty as Charged, we have 182 in reverse, okay? So it says 182, which reduces to 11, Enlightenment and Twin Flame Journey, which is 1-1, one, one, Twin Flame, Twin Flame, and then 2, and it means a couple. It means a Twin Flame couple. Um, so Guilty as Charged, um, past mistakes, yeah. So the masculine is guilty as charged for the past mistakes that the masculine has uh, made with his own twin flame soulmate, literal half of his soul. And so he feels all that pain and chaos and, and, and darkness he's caused to his own feminine and her family. And he, I'm sure he doesn't feel good about it. You can't, unless he's a sadist. If it's too late, if this masculine energy has turned to the dark side and is now considered a dark entity. Um, he will have the uh, sadistic uh, personality traits, uh, possibly be a dark quad um, narcissist. Look that up. Look up what a sadist is. And, and he can't have true remorse. He can't have true guilt. He can't have true sorrow or true love to his own divine feminine person and her family. Um, he can only look at them as objects in his way, as options like 
negative options like no I don't want you options like no I don't care about you options um, they're just objects they're not real okay um, what else let's let's talk about this okay past mistakes let's get another card on this masking also guilty as charged the masculine energy it is going to mask every day um masking pretending to be a good whole healed person or a, a person that wants what's best for the feminine and her family um or for society or you know whoever they're talking to they're gonna mask like oh i'm not mentally ill um, if they're not mentally ill and they're doing these sadistic, sociopathic, psychopathic things to the feminine, then they're really guilty as charged. Because if there's no mental illness to a judge and jury and the lawyers, and they're doing all these violent, abusive things to his own uh, twin flame feminine soulmate, you only have one soulmate, right? Half, only one then um, he is definitely guilty as charged and the energies for that he will have to pay. Um, so let's get another on this card. Okay, explain. Okay, we've got a reverse 181, which goes to 10. Reverse in denial loss. So um, if, he's, if he says he's not mentally ill and the doctors say he's not mentally ill and anybody says he's not mentally ill through all the psychological tests, then this is a reverse, remember? Um, then, then the masculine is definitely, definitely not in denial and the doctors are not in denial and the judges will see that. And the masculine is definitely not lost. So he is enjoying sadistically like a dark quad narcissist doing the guilty as charged energies to his divine feminine and her family which you know he'll be caught sooner or later no worries okay so let's get another card on that the guilty is charged to explain that okay number 80 lying of course your uh, masculine toxic masculine sadistic whatever masculine whatever you want to say means all the same thing to a judge a lawyer a courtroom a jury and family and friends and strangers in the world um, they're gonna lie okay and another form of lying is gaslighting okay that's a fancy way of saying they're lying um and it's a fancy way of saying that they're they're playing the victim uh the darvo letter technique they're playing the victim as if they're the victim and you're the abuser which of course is not true and in time will come out uh <sighs> legally however it comes out because the universe and the mother is going to discipline her children that lie against their own twin flames and others twin flames okay let's go to this one right here about the 214 fears evil and past okay so here's the card it's upright number 260 reduces to eight um it says jail jail uh, jail bedroom locked away okay um and it says non not violent not watching out okay um, doesn't understand psychology, um, jail bedroom locked away. So maybe some of your twin flame feminines are still in the process of a divorce or still married and hoping that everything will work out with your dark masculine. I can tell you that's not going to happen, um, only because they would really have to change. They would really have to go get medication and tell their doctors that they did everything wrong to you. And more than likely, they're not going to do that you because of fear and repercussions legally so um, you're gonna feel like um, your bedrooms a jail your house is a jail your property's a jail no matter where you go whatever room you're in because he can be in another room or he or she whatever take it how it resonates um, you're gonna feel locked away like you're locked away in this horrible living arrangement reality in the matrix where you're just so unhappy yep so you know what that means you're gonna have to separate and divorce eventually or get two houses or something right if you're wealthy you can have many houses right and still stay together married or do common law whatever divorce and just do common law if they're going to change if not going to change don't have anything to do with them okay let's pull another card let's pull another card on um the middle card reverse look for aggressive be careful all right i've got a reverse 124 which comes to seven holy number of the mother father source the great spirit dangerous so not dangerous so the sadist karmic 
past person or present person or your own divine masculine is not going to come off dangerous to your family and friends or the police or judges or lawyers or strangers. They're going to make sure that um, they are flippant and flip the script on, script on you and make you look like you're dangerous or make you look like, you know, you're the out of control, bipolar, manic flippant person okay that's what they do <laughs> that's what they do um you know sadistic masculine energies or feminine energies of a karmic past karmic ex of theirs or whoever taught them to be so dark is going to make you look dangerous to the authorities or family okay that's called gaslighting and it's called the darvo letter Technique, look it up in psychology. Okay, so another one for this one. We got to reverse 163, which equals to 10, which equals to 5, 5, eminent change, will change. Um, and also um, one, you know, ending, number 10, and then one beginning. So, or, or one to be one with each other. Okay, um, so reverse this. Okay, reverse this. So reverse, um, open up, never close down. Well, obviously, you won't open up and you will close down um yeah your sadistic ex karmic lessons person or the sadistic masculine um is not going to open up for you and is and is um never and then they will they will always close down on you they're never going to be uh healthy until they get to therapy and heal and that probably take a lot uh, ex probably take many lives or many years where you'll end up just being by yourself monastery guru monk style right um because you're going to get therapy and get healed and not care about being with someone you're going to care about yourself first and then or you're going to get married to someone who is just opposite wonderful balanced or truly in love with god in you and the ascension path enlightened path and your beautiful beautiful family it would never do dark things like your own masculine energy person did okay all right let's pull another one on guilty as charged to explain we've got a 171 equals to nine the divine mother um number um, we are good. So this came out reverse. So it means we are not good. We are not okay with each other. Um, yeah, for guilty as charged, you're not going to be okay with each other um, because you know you're being energetically wronged and you know you want to keep your oaths to the mother father before you were born. And so, um, you know, your traumatized pit bull masculine, um, they might think that you are good. But in reality, you know, you and God know that you are not good. You're <laughs> that the pit bull traumatized masculine is not good. And um, so let's pull another card on that on the guilty as charged. Okay, so we got no. Okay, number one, no. Okay, so we are not good. Yep, yep. And the mother father want you to say no, no to your um, toxic masculine. And no to the toxic karmic men or women that enter your life. Um, you need to become a professional no-sayer. Um, I got to turn that off, sorry. It was like a notification from YouTube, <laughs> from another channel I subscribe to. So, um, yeah, you're going to say no to your masculine. Sorry, I had to make sure the volume was all the way up, but I hope it is. Um you're going to say no, be a professional no sayer to all toxic men and women that come into your lives that are dark um, because you need to stay on your straight and narrow path of the seven sacred flames book, ascension path, enlightened path, balance ego path, okay? And you just have to say no to all the wrong issues, things, all the wrong people, problems, all the wrong um, contracts, all the wrong decisions, choices, um, because everything is free will choices, okay? All right, so I'm going to stop here. I hope this helps someone. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, I will do at least one tarot card before um, I go. Put that right there. Okay, this is my favorite doodle art card. I love it. Oh my god, I got it from Amazon, but you know, you can get it at a spiritual store if they have it. This, let me show you what it looks like. It's a beginner deck. I love beginner decks because they're so direct and cutesy.
and fun and, and uh, yeah. So, okay. So, Ancestors of Light, Mother, Father, Source, Great Spirit, Archangel Michael, and all benevolent dragons of uh, my Ancestors of Light and all of our Ancestors of Light and the benevolent dragons of the Mother, Father, please pick a card through me about everything we're talking about here, okay? All right. So we've got, ooh, devil energy, number 15. I love the devil energy card because it's so direct and it really tells on the toxic, dark um, masculines and karmic men and women in your life chart or in your life, in your everyday life that's affecting you and your children or if you're single, it's affecting all your loved ones. And so um, it says addiction, materialism, playfulness, feeling trapped. Okay, so your masculine, your masculine is um, in a lot of addictions. It could be anger addictions, violence addictions, sadistic addictions. It could be mentally ill addictions. It could be cigar addictions that cost over 3,200 a year. It could be music addictions, um, playing online games addictions. It could be overworking, work, workaholic addictions, or sexual addictions. Um, it could be any kind of addictions, um, people-pleasing addictions, um, whatever. Playfulness. Well, the devil energy is playful in the wrong ways. Um, very mischievous, very childish, very threatening, very harassing, very toxic, um, very um, dark, selfish very sadistic, very sociopathic and psychopathic, um, especially if they've been violent and they've strangled you, choked you, kicked you, hit you, shoved you down into walls and furniture, or put a weapon to your face, neck, gave you arthritis or a part of your body. I mean, whatever they did to you, right? That's not the right playfulness. That's not funny. Taunting is not funny. So they can be addicted to taunting you and, um, just, you know, making fun of you and just sadistically going after you as your spouse, a friend, boyfriend, girlfriend, or whatever they are, brother, sister, whatever, father, mother, their sadistical parents and children, because there are dark entities born to you as your own baby, as your own children that, that you raise, and then you realize, oh, wow, and they have devil energy, of course. So, and then there's feeling trapped, right there, okay, um, yeah, they're feeling trapped because the devil energy is so power powerful inside of them that it's making them criminally insane. And they just want to legally, unethically, just to let out their devil energy in front of you and the family and every police and officers and publicly on video or TV. They just want to let out that devil energy to everybody in the world. Maybe they're going to be recorded on YouTube or a television program being so evil like serial killers and stuff, people like that. Um, serial killers are twin flames gone wrong. They are considered dark entities. They do have a lot of demons and devils helping them uh, commit the crimes and get away with them for a while. But then their own demons and devils turn them in because they think it's funny to turn them in. So uh, they like to punish their own. Sadistic um, devils, demons, and dark twin flame masculines and feminines that are sadistic in nature. They love to turn each other in. They love to put each other in jail and prison. They love to falsely testify or lie. They love to hurt you and torture you emotionally, mentally, socially, sexually, physically, spiritually, financially in any way. They think it's fun. That's their playfulness. So their playfulness, dark empaths, people, dark entities, demons and devils and you know, the dark hierarchy, they, they love to playfully torture you and your loved ones in every life chart. So, so just get your, tell, you know, get yourself a good lawyer or, you know, get yourself, um, good friends or get yourself, you know, trained in martial arts to defend yourself or trained some way to defend your life against them. And then again, don't fear them. If they're going to do something to you and take your life and make you to the other side, go to the other side. As long as you already told the local authorities, all the information about them. When they do it, oh well, you'll be safe and with God, hopefully, if you're not dark and you're a light spiritual being, twin flame person, and you'll go home and be safe. And um, you're free to do whatever you want. That's good and righteous on the other side with your best friends, your ancestors of light. So, all right.
much love namaste this is leah black dragon out i hope this helps someone i'm sure it did um and um i just dedicate all my readings to the mother father source the great spirit my ancestors of light especially my benevolent holy sacred dragons of the mother and father and um to the ascended masters in my ancestors of light that loves and helps me and guides me in every life and um, the archangels, ascended masters that helped me, and the angels of mother, father that helped me, and my beautiful old twin flame family members. All right, talk to you later. Much love. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.